All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about Google My Business and setting up a Google My Business for our client or if they have a Google My Business, optimizing that Google My Business so obviously it will rank on Google. Now, as part of the over the shoulder, I'm going to be doing the Google My Business for Color Bright Painting. Uh, so I'm going to be doing most of that and then Dan's going to follow up with some other tactics for the Google My Business, but this portion of it, I'm just gonna be walking you guys through how when we take on a new client, we set up their Google My Business. Now, for Colorbright Painting, they actually don't even have a Google My Business set up, so we're gonna be setting it up for scra from scratch, but let's say you have a client and they already have one set up, um, the first thing you want to do is to get access to it. And you're going to get access one of two ways. They're going to either give you their Google account and their login with their security codes and stuff so you can get into their Gmail account. But really the easiest thing that they can do is to make you a user of their Google My Business. And with Dan and myself we, we and Greg is we have a small video that we actually send to our clients to show them how to add us to the Google My Business. And I'll tell you what, we'll actually leave that here. So if you guys wanna use that when you get a client to show them how to add you as a user, um, you can do that and you can watch it yourself, but it's real easy. All, all it does is show them how to log into their Google My Business, go here to add user, and then they would drop, they would add you here and they would invite you as the manager. And then you would have, you would have full access to their Google My Business and then that way you could monitor it, you can edit it and everything else from your own um, account, right? From your own agency account. So we do that pretty much exclusively. Like we just want people to make us the user unless um, for some reason they don't want to and then we get their login. But really when you have all your clients in one place, it makes it really, really easy. All right, so now what about uh, Colorbright Painting? Here's what I'm gonna do with them. Since they do not have a Google My Business already, I'm actually going to create it in my Chimera Media Google My Business account, and then I'm gonna make them a user and then make them the owner of it. So then I'll still be manager, but then they'll be, they'll be an owner of it. So it'll be in their account, their uh, Google account, and it'll be in my account also. But to start, I'm just gonna do it to make it easy. I'm gonna just do it right here in the Chimera Media um, account. So what we're gonna do here is, as you can see, this is the listing that we set up earlier, right? Or if you're watching the agency setup, you would have seen me set up, start setting up the Chimera Media um, site. We're still waiting for the card to come in. Um, so let's go to it. So here's, here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go down and if you see right here, it says add a new location. So basically we're just gonna uh, find and manage your business. So let's, so I am gonna put, so what this is gonna do is gonna go out and see if there is another listing. Um, another it's going to see if there's another listing um out there so once i fill out the information if there is some kind of maybe google created a listing years ago um it'll show that one and i can either claim it if it's available or create a new one uh, this location will show up in google maps and search yes okay what is the address of the business So I have my profile sheet and I'm gonna just grab. All right, so I added the address and here's the next question. Uh, do you also service customers outside this location? For example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, you can let them know where you're willing to go. Yes, I also serve them. Now this is really important, right? Outside my location. Next, it's gonna ask like, okay, what areas areas do you serve all right so this client is located in long island new york right so inside long island 
usually people will either search by like painter long island or they'll search like by county because there's two big counties on long island suffolk county nassau county so to pretty much cover all of long island um let's see if i could do suffolk county yep so we'll do suffolk county new york and we'll do nassau I wonder if it'll let me do county, Nassau County, New York. And the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to add in um, all the different little cities in Long Island that they want to concentrate on. So I think there's 23 cities. So let me grab those. All right. So I just paused the screen. And what I did was I added all the cities that they want to service. And this is a pretty cool feature that Google My Business just put in here because it used to be that they gave you a radius. Uh, so I said, if I said, you know, Suffolk County um, or my address, I would say, you know, from my address is 60 mile radius where now they're saying like, what areas do you actually service? So there are some areas of Long Island they don't really want to service. Um, they want to service more of the high end areas. So I could put those individual cities in there. Same thing. Like if you have a client in San Diego, Los Angeles, like in San Diego, there's 53 sub cities. So you would just put those cities, um, that, that you service in there. Like I would put San Diego County and then I would put all those cities if I was doing it for San Diego. So, um, so let's go and hit next. All right, so it's asking for the business category. So their category is painting. They're painting, painter, paint store. Um, I would say painting. I think painter might be like, uh, I don't know if that's like someone who paints pictures, but painting is definitely what they do. All right, so here we just put in their contact information and their website URL, which I am going to grab off of their profile sheet that we have. And then, guys, you should be having, like, you sh like I know Dan had the showed you guys our organizational video, and this is really important that when you onboard a client, that you keep all their information in one place. So when you're doing something like this, you can just go in and add the information without having to hunting hunt it down especially when we get into doing other listings and citations we're basically just going to be putting the same information um you know over and over again so you want to have easy access to that and you don't want to be searching for it every time so here we got their phone number we got their website url we're going to hit next all right, so that's it. It's going to say finish. Uh, and now it's going to ask to um, send a card. So it's going to send a card over to their location. So this, again, is a verification card. They'll get it within five days, and then it'll have a small number on it. We'll go back into the listing. So when they get the number, I'll record like what it looks like to actually verify the listing. So... All right, we're going to hit mail. All right, so postcard is is going to their location. Now we're going to hit continue. Now we're not done. Right? You're going to see listing, it says it's about 50% done. So what we're going to want to do is go over to the info tab right here. And we're going to want to make some adjustments. One thing I'm going to do for this title is one, I spelled painting wrong. <laughs> Um, two is I'm going to do of Long Island club, right? Painting of Long Island. So you got to be careful when you do this. Um, so what I'm going to have them do is I'm going to actually have them put color, bright painting of Long Island on their website. Um, because you do want your, their name and their website to match, but by putting the word Long Island in there, um, I have a better chance of coming up in the maps for when someone types in painting for Long Island or a Long Island painter or a Long Island painting company. 
um, by having that in there. Also, the site, if I want to rank, like say my main keyword that I want to rank for is painting like Long Island Painter or Painter Long Island. Um, when I do all my citations, I have to have the Long Long Island in the title and also in the um, in the URL. So in order to get it in the URL for a lot of these citations, I need to have it in the title, which don't worry about that if you're confused. In the citation section, we're gonna re we're gonna lay it all out for you, so it's crystal clear, so you know, um, you know exactly how to do them, and you'll you'll understand that better when you watch those videos. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do: color by painting of Long Island. Uh, we have their address in here. We have the service area, so we want to fill this out one hundred percent, right? So now, usually, what I do is uh, I'll do they're open Monday through Saturday. Um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? So it's like, let me make sure I got the 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You know what? Actually, what I'm going to do is because what this actually does is when you put in, now this may not work for all your clients, but when you put in a certain hours like eight to five what's going to happen when someone sees your map listing it's going to say closed on there like closed right now so since this is a service business and they'll basically take calls 24 hours a day because um, if someone calls it'll just go to a message machine right um, I'm just going to put 24 hours so it always looks like it's open so people could just call if they want and then they can just leave a message so each business is different. If you're doing a real brick and mortar business where they actually have a store location, a dentist, a chiropractor, you definitely want to get these hours right on. But with services businesses, it could be a little different. So you just just talk to your clients and ask them, you know, if that's okay, um, and let them know why you would put the 24 hours on there. We have specialty hours we don't need. Okay, we have their phone number. Uh, all right, so here is. Now here is like uh, products um, that you have. Like if they sell products, you would put that here. Uh, as far as services go, this is where I would add a service, right? And um, so we have painting, right? So that's the main service. So to one thing I don't want you guys to get confused about or frustrated or stressed about is this category. Right, because you're only allowed to choose one category. I mean, you can add another category, but like if I go to add another category, and let's say it's, I don't think it'll even let me. Like if I put painter, painter, which, which painting, painter, like I would just put one, right? That applies, like that applies, and then I would go down here and add services, and then. Obviously, I got the right category, like painting. So I got exterior painting, interior painting, paint cabinets, paint doors, repair drywall, uh, staining. Okay, so another one that he does is wallpaper. All right, so the one service that he didn't have was wallpaper installation that they didn't have in here, so I added that. But this pretty much covers everything he does. The only other thing he does is uh, power washing or pressure washing. So what we can actually do with that is we can see if that may be another category. So it is. So pressure washing services. And then what do we do? We do um, power pressure washing. Uh, right. So. Yeah, that's it. So that's going to take care of the power and the pressure washing. It's also going to take care of all the other stuff that they do. All right. So then we'll just hit apply. And then we'll hit back. All right. So there we got painting, pressure washing services. We don't really sell a product, but these are all the services that we do. Um, so here, this is very important. This is where we're going to add our business description. So I have this right here. All 
All right, then let's just hit apply. All right, now let me show you guys what I wrote in the description and why. So first of all, it's just a, obviously a description of the business. So you want it to make sense. People are probably going to read it. But we also want our keywords and we want our service areas in there. So, you know, Color by Painting is a full service painting company, right? That's our keyword located in Long Island, New York. That's another keyword, painting company in Long Island, New York, New York right? Uh, so we have that in here. We are a family business that has been painting homes in Suffolk County, New York and Nassau County, New York, because next to Long Island, New York, the other two big areas I want this map list to come up for is Suffolk County, New York and Nassau County, New York for over 50 years. The services we offer are, and here I'm reiterating and listing the services again, right? Because I just, you know, I, because with the Google, my business, like you, you want to have your information and your keywords, um, in there. You don't want to stuff them, but you want to definitely have them wherever you can. That means in the service section, in the description, tagged in the photos, like all that stuff makes a difference, um, with Google deciding which map listing to put up there. Okay. So the next thing we have here are photos. Now with the photos, there's certain things we are going to do to the photos. Like we're going to tag the photos a certain way. We're going to geotag them. Um, it's a little more involved and we're actually going to make a separate video on how to tag the photos properly and upload them to Google my business. Dan is going to be making that. But the one thing that you always want to have on your Google My Business is going to be a cover photo. This is like the header, right? You don't want to Google My Business without that. So the only thing I'm going to add right now is I'm just going to add a cover photo, which I have right here. All right. So as you can see, like this photo right here is its name. The name of the photo is actually my keyword painting company, Long Island. And that's really important. And again, don't worry about it. Don't stress over it right now. Um, you know, Dan's going to explain more about that in the next video, but now we have a cover photo. The next thing we want to do is we want to have our, um, our logo like so we want to have our logo which is just going to be a different shape of the logo we could also do um i'm probably going to ask them for a different picture for uh probably for the cover photo we're going to try for the cover photo like i'm just putting their logo like kind of their cover header as the logo right now um as i wait for them i just we just talked to them we're like hey let's get a picture of you like the owner and some of his employees next to the truck or something where it makes like the, like when someone's going to their Google, my business, they can actually see like, okay, you know, this is a real company. These are real people. Like we want some real photos in there. So they're getting me that photo and we're going to make that into the cover. And, you know, in a later video, we'll show you how we're going to do that. But for right now, I'm just going to put this right here. At least want, the logo, let's see, ah, this might be too, ah, let's see if we can get, there we go. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's not ideal, but for now, it gets us up and going and gets us where we need to be. Um, all right, so this other stuff, video, all this other stuff, um, Dan is going to go into. So let's go back to home. All right, so guys, this is the basic setup for your Google My Business. And the very next video will be Dan and he'll be showing you some photos. I do the photos, like I said, but also some other things um, to keep in mind and to look at um, with Google My Business. Okay, we'll see you guys later.